is up you guys my name is madison welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today i'm going to be doing my reading statistics these are not very good and probably not very accurate because i didn't like write down a bunch of the books that i read because i forgot about it um or like mark or like whatever um so we're gonna go with the best that i can do so i've read so far um this is being filmed on the 8th i've read so far 23 books and these are my statistics so for genres i have murder mystery and then i put romance and rom-com together um poetry manga and plays are together because like yeah sci-fi and then anything that's middle grade and below i marked as children's so for murder mystery there are three for romance slash rom-com there are four for poetry, manga, and plays, there are three, one each. Uh, Sci-fi, there are five. And for children's, there are seven. Um, and then I also split them out into age groups. So I have adult, young adult, middle grade, and again, children, which is anything under a middle grade. Um, picture books, things like that. Um, so in adult, I have four. In young adult, I have 11. Because, you know, I'm a young adult, it's what I to gravitate towards for middle grade i have two which is crazy because i thought i owned a lot more middle grade than i actually do and for children's i read six and if you don't know i do read children's books to my boyfriend and my younger brother which is why there are so many um and then the last section we're doing is uh like my ratings for everything Again, these might not be very accurate because I didn't write like any children's books and I didn't write like a bunch of other books. So yeah, but I have it one through five, my good read my good reads ratings. Um so um in five I have three three stars or what? In five I have three books and I believe it's Vampire Night. Vampire Night, The House in the Cerulean Sea, and what's the other book? I can't think of what the third book is right now, which is crazy because I gave it a five star. I should obviously remember what it was. I don't remember half the books that I read. In four star, um, I have nine. And like my four stars are like ones that I genuinely enjoy and like loved reading and everything like that. But there's just something about it that was off that just couldn't make it reach my, you know, five star rating. So that's where uh, Tweet Cute is, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I Killed Zoe Spano, so this is the other fifth one, uh, five star one. Um, yeah, A Good Guy Girl's Guide to Murder, of The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, I think that's what the third book is called. Um, yeah, I have things like that in there. And then I have five three stars. This is the average, but, like, this is something that I didn't really enjoy, but, like, isn't a two star. Yeah. Um, that's where I put Girl Online. That's all I remember putting in a three star. I know I have more, obviously. There are five of them. And then my two stars is King Lear and... I think with Girl Online and Two Star, and then the one I was thinking of for Three Star is Always in Forever Laura Jean. Or those are flipped, something like that. And then I have none in One Star, because none of them I absolutely, like, despised and loathed. And if I don't reach, like, a certain point in the book, like, to DNF it, then I don't rate it. But, like, if I get a little bit over halfway, then I'll probably go ahead and give it a One Star. And, yeah, those are my reading statistics. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I want social media also be down below, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Also, I probably won't edit any of this because this needs to go up like right now. Bye!